the amount of space occupied by that object. Our general formula for finding the volume of any prism is V equals big B H, where capital B is the area of the base of the prism and H is the height of the prism. Let's start with a triangular prism. V equals big B H, so we'll start by finding area of the base. Our base is a triangle in this case, so that means we're going to do base of the triangle times height of the triangle divided by 2, or in this case, 8 times 7 divided by 2. 8 times 7 is 56, 56 divided by 2 is 28. So area of our base comes out to be 28 square centimeters. We then need to multiply that by the height of our prism. We'll notice this triangular prism is turned on its side. So height is horizontal instead of vertical. No matter which way it's turned, height is always going to be the distance between our bases. So volume is area of the base, our 28, times our height of 9. 28 times 9 is 252, so volume of our prism is 252 cubic centimeters. Volume is labeled to the third power since it's a three-dimensional measurement and we read it as cubic. Let's use our equation to find the volume of this hexagonal prism. Volume in general for prisms is area of the base times the height. Well here they told us that area of the base is 21 square inches and height is 10 inches. So that means we don't have to compute area of the base. We simply have to substitute it into our equation. So our equation is now going to read 21 for area of the base times 10 for my height. 21 times 10 gives us 210 and then we need to label it. Since our dimensions over here are labeled in inches, this is labeled in inches. Volume is a three dimensional measurement so it's labeled to the third power. So the the volume of our hexagonal prism is 210 cubic inches.